A lot of people are under the impression that Go High Level websites suck and you can't make good looking websites inside of the Go High Level website builder. I'm here today to tell you that that is absolutely false. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some custom code that you can add to your Go High Level websites to make them look awesome. The first effect I'm gonna be showing y'all how to implement is when you hover over an image, you can make the size increase like so. I've done it on these three images right here. So we're gonna jump into the Go High Level website builder and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And you can do this to any image on the website. I'm just gonna do these three for this example. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to our custom CSS box right here. We're gonna click on this. This is where all of our custom code happens for the most part. There's gonna be a few other areas where we need to add some code for some later effects. But for this effect, all we have to do is go into this box here, scroll to the bottom. If you have some other code, maybe the website template you're using from Go High Level has some custom code already. We're just gonna scroll to the bottom here. We're gonna click enter and open up a new line here that doesn't have anything in it. I'm gonna jump in here to my Google Doc that has all of this custom code. And I'm gonna show you how to get this Google Doc for free at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned to the end. But this is the code right here for this element if we wanna increase the size of our image as we hover over it. And so we're gonna copy this right here. And then we're gonna jump back into high level. We're gonna paste it in. And then you'll see it has these little hashtags, your image slash element, and then your image slash element. So we just need to go in. Now we need to save this. We need to tell it which element we wanna make larger when we hover over it. So we're just gonna select this image right here first. Inside of the advanced settings of this image that we have selected, we can go down and we can see the CSS selector right here. And this image has a specific code to it. So we're gonna copy this really quick. Now we're gonna go back up to our custom CSS editor and we're gonna go down to where our code is at, which is just this one right here. And we're gonna change where it says your image slash element and we're gonna paste in the code to our image right here. So I'm gonna paste that in. You'll see it pasted in that code we just copied and you also need to do it right here as well up until the little ellipses right here. And now that we have that pasted in, we just need to hit save. And then you'll see it increases in size. Even inside the editor, you can see it. I don't like how big it increases in size when I hover over it. And so we can actually edit that as well. So I'm gonna go back to our custom CSS editor here, go down to the bottom. And that is controlled by this little scale factor right here. With the 1.2, that means it increases by 20%. That's what the 0.2 right there means. Let's say I only wanna increase the size by 5%. We're just gonna put 0 0.05 instead of 0.2. So now it'll increase by 5% when we hover over it. And then I'm gonna hit save. And now when we look at it, it only increases a little bit by 5% instead of that 20%. I like the look of that a lot better. Now I also wanna do the same thing for these images as well. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go back to our CSS editor here. I'm gonna scroll down and we are going to duplicate this code right here. So I'm just gonna duplicate this one to make it easy. We're gonna copy it. We're gonna go back to a new line right here, line 529. We're gonna paste that in and you'll see it still has our image from before. So we just need to go in and change this little code of the image because now we're not changing this image. Uh, we're gonna be changing this one. And so I'm gonna click on this one now, go to the advanced settings, and then I'm gonna copy the code for this specific image, jump back over here, and then I'm gonna scroll down and change the code for this image right here, paste that in, and we're also gonna change it right here as well, and then hit save. And now we can see this one increases by 5% as well. So both of them now do. And then we can do the same thing for this one. I'm just gonna go back up to our CSS editor. We're gonna copy this code again. Gonna go to a new line, hit enter, paste it in. And now we just need to grab the code for this image and copy it, go back in, and then we can change it. So now all three of our images will increase by 5% when we hover over them. So now I'm gonna hit save. And now we can see right here, all of our images will now increase in size. And you could do this with any element on the site. You could do it with these boxes right here. So just a really cool way to animate your sites when people are scrolling and hovering over things instead of just having a stagnant site that doesn't do anything. The next effect I'm gonna be showing you is right here, we can change our button to have a gradient fade. So you can see it kind of goes from this lighter blue to this darker blue color. I'm gonna show you how to achieve this effect right now. All right, so I'm back inside of the Go High Level website builder. You can see the button right here, it's just one color. It doesn't really have that gradient effect like we just showed you before. So we're gonna go back to our Google document that has all of our codes here. And this is the effect, how to add gradient backgrounds to sections, elements, buttons. You can do it for any of these three different types of elements. We're gonna do it for this button. 
We're gonna go right here to where we have our code. We're gonna copy from here to here. And then we're gonna jump back into our website builder. We're going to go to our CSS box. We're gonna go down to the bottom. We're gonna add a new line of code right here. We're gonna hit save. And then once we've saved that, we need to select our button that we wanna change the gradient of. We need to go up to advanced. And then we need to go right here where it says custom class. And we need to name the custom class to pool button one and hit enter. You can see as soon as I hit enter, it changed it to this green gradient fade. That's the one that's plugged in by default. If we wanna change that to a different color, what we can do is we can go back up to our custom CSS right here, go down to the bottom, and that is controlled by these RGB codes, which are different color codes that we can change. So right now it has the green ones built in, like a dark green to a light green, but we can change it to our blue colors that we want. To find a code of the color that we wanna use, I'm gonna to go to this website, it's called rgbcolorcode.com, and you can find any RGB color code for any color you wanna change it to. So I selected this blue color right here, which it looks like has an RGB code of 0, 77, 230. So we're gonna jump back into high level, we're gonna change this one to 0, 77, 230. So now it has that darker blue color, and then we can change what it fades to right here in this one. And so I'm gonna change this one to maybe a lighter blue. We're gonna jump back over here. I'm gonna change it to, let's say this light blue right here. This one is 102, 204, 255. So let me try to remember that 102, 204, 255. So we're gonna do 104. I can't even remember it now. It's uh, let's go back. It's uh, 102, 204, 255. So, 102 and then we have 204 and then we have 255 and then we just need to hit save and then boom it'll change it to our colors that we selected and put into the custom css so that's how you do that one just makes the styling of your buttons and different elements on the site a little bit cooler looking the next effect i'll be showing you is how to do a gradient headline in your text so just like the button we just did, we can also add that same gradient color so that the text changes color from left to right. To achieve this look, we're gonna go back up to our custom CSS box. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna jump over to our Google Doc. This is the one right here, how to add a gradient overlay to a text element. And you're gonna get this Google Doc at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you how to get it for free. We're gonna scroll down to our text right here, our code, our CSS. We're gonna copy that. Then we're gonna jump back over into high level, start a new line, paste it in starts with this cool header one, and then we can hit save right here. And then we need to select the actual text, the headline right here. We need to go to the advanced settings over on the right, and we need to add a class right here that's gonna be cool header one, and then hit enter. Now you can see it disappears, right? This one doesn't show in the editing mode. You have to actually look at it in preview mode to see what it looks like. We're gonna click save real quick up at the top and then we are going to preview it. And we'll see right here in preview mode, it worked, but it's not the colors that we want. We wanna change it maybe to this color so it matches the rest of the theme of our website. So we're gonna go back into our website builder here and we're going to go back up to our custom code box, scroll down, and we need to change it to the right color scheme. We wanna have it fade to that, maybe that light blue to the dark blue like we have the button right here. And so what we can do, since we already have the button done, we can just copy the code from our button right here, the RGB codes of the color, and we can paste it in here. If you wanna use a different color, you can go back to that rgbcolorcode.com and you can find a different color. I'm just gonna use these ones right here, for example, sake to make it easy. And we're gonna paste this in right here and hit save. And now it's still not showing up in the editing mode. We're gonna click save up here and we're gonna preview it real quick and we'll be able to see that now it has dark blue to light blue fade like we were going for. The next custom coded element I'm gonna be showing you is this floating Google reviews button that when clicked on will open up to your Google business profile for somebody to leave you a Google review. There are a few steps in order to add this one onto our website. So back into our website builder here, I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom here and in the footer, you can put this anywhere on the page, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna add another element at the very bottom and we're gonna add a custom code element right here and we can then click on it, make sure it's selected, and over here we can click Open Code Editor. We're gonna jump back to our Google Doc that has our codes on it, and we are gonna copy this code right here. I'm gonna copy from here to here, and then we're gonna jump back into high level and paste that one in. 
click save. And then before we save it, we're gonna paste in our Google business URL to leave reviews right here. So I jumped over to my Google business profile, which you'll have access to for your own Google business profile or your clients. You can go to the page here. This is mine right here for web juice. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says, get your first review and to click get reviews. And it gives us our, this link right here, our reviews link. We can also get this in go high level as well under our reputation tab. We're gonna copy this one though. We're gonna jump back into high level. I'm gonna paste that in right here between the two quotations and then we're gonna click save. Now that we've done that, we've added this element here for code. We're gonna go back up to our custom CSS box. We're gonna scroll down to the very bottom and we're gonna add in another code here inside of the custom CSS. We're gonna grab that from our document here. I'm gonna scroll down on this page a little bit more and it's gonna be this code right here. I'm gonna scroll from here to here, make sure to copy all of it. And then we're gonna jump back in, paste that in here. And then we're gonna click save. And this is another one that doesn't show up in editing mode. We need to save it and then preview it. It's gonna tell us we're gonna make some global section changes or whatever, we're gonna hit save. And then we're gonna preview it to see what it looks like. And boom, there we go. Now we have this floating Google reviews. When clicked on, it'll open up for our customers to leave us a Google review. And the last effect I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve is gonna be this logo carousel here that you'll see on the screen. It goes from right to left. And you can have multiple different logos here. I just use the same one just for example's sake. But you can have a bunch of different logos of other companies that maybe this business has worked with. So to achieve this look, first we're gonna to need to create a section. So I'm just gonna click the green plus sign right here. We're gonna create a full width section. And then inside of the full width section, we're gonna add a row. And inside of this row, we're gonna add six columns here. And then inside of each of them, we're going to add an image. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. We're gonna click on the image and then we're gonna go over to our actual image where we can select the one we want. And then you can go ahead and upload your logos in here. I already have this one, but if you have multiple, go ahead and upload all of them. I'm gonna select it. I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna drag each of them into the box next to it just to duplicate it. All right, so now we have our six logos right here. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna click on each of them, go into the advanced settings, and we're gonna name a custom class for each of them. It's gonna be image logo one. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it. It's gonna be the same for all of them. You're gonna hit enter. So now it's added that image logo one class to each of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one by one. Now that we've added that class to each of these, we're gonna jump over into our Google Doc here and we are going to copy this entire code from right here all the way down to the bottom. By the way, this one on our Google Doc is called How to Add a Moving Logo Carousel. Anyway, we're gonna scroll back down and we're gonna copy this code, Control C, go back to our website builder and then we're gonna go up to our custom CSS and we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom find a new line, hit enter, and we're gonna paste that code in right here. And then we're gonna click save. Then we're gonna go and select this blue box here. This is gonna be our row, and you'll see that it says row right here at the top, just to make sure you have the right one. Then we're gonna to go to the advanced settings of this, and we're going to copy our CSS selection right here. And then we're gonna jump back into our custom CSS box where we can edit things. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and we're just gonna slowly scroll up and we are going to paste in anywhere where it says your row, hashtag your row. We'll go ahead and paste that in there. Uh, we're gonna do it right here as well. Oh, didn't select all of it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and save this one. And now you'll see it looks really bad in editing mode, but we're gonna go ahead and click save and then save it right here. And then we're gonna preview it on the actual site. And in preview mode, it looks totally fine. So this one just adds some really cool animation to your site. Whenever people load onto the page, it has something moving automatically. So this is a really cool one to add to your Go High Level sites. If you want the code to the five different effects that I showed in this video, you can get them for free on a Google Doc down below this video. And if you want the code for over 15 additional custom effects that you can do on Go High Level websites, you can get a Google Doc with all of them absolutely free if you sign up with my 30 day free trial link to Go High Level down below. And if you're already using Go High Level, you can upgrade with my link down below to the 297 or 497 plan and get it for free that way. And also if you sign up with my link down below or upgrade with my link, I'll jump on two free Zoom calls with you every single week for live, help you build your agency, answer any questions you have. And I'll also give you over $10,000 worth of free resources to help you grow your agency that I've worked on over the past few years. I appreciate y'all sticking through to the end of the video. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.